Today we're going to talk about calories. I'm going to try to help you calculate the calories you need to consume on a daily basis. So as you know, a lot of people are resorting to calorie counting. And if you can fit that into your lifestyle, if you can manage counting calories, then I highly recommend it. As we all know, calorie intake is vital when it comes to either losing weight, putting up weight, or maintaining weight. So what I'm here today for is to help you calculate your calories. And that's done via your own body weight. So underneath this video, I've put in some charts in the block. The charts will range from different body weights all the way from 40 kg up to 120, 130 kg. And what we're gonna do is help you via your body weight calculate your calorie goal. So what we first need to do is look at your body in kg and convert it to pounds if you don't know your weight in pounds. So let's take my weight for example, um, 68 kg, converting that to pounds brings it to 149, 150 pounds. And then what I'm going to do is multiply that by a number either by 10 all the way up to 20, depending on what I'm trying to achieve. So 10 being the lower end of the scale if I want to go into an extreme deficit, which I wouldn't recommend to many people. I would try to get most people up to around 15 calories per pound of body weight. So that would be around maintenance calories. And then if you're going into more of a let's say trying to gain weight and go into more of a calorie surplus, then you go anything between 15 to 20. Now 20 will be the extreme surplus again, so that's something you would need to build your way up with it. So let's say you want to put yourself into a slight deficit, you would multiply your body weight in pounds by let's say 11 or 12 calories and find that calorie goal. If you want to put yourself into a small surplus, you would look at multiplying your body weight of pounds by let's say 17 or 18. Now, this is a rough scale, guys, and this is kind of for the beginners, the beginner's guide to counting calories. When counting calories, a lot of things come into play and a lot of factors come into play. Your stress levels, your activity levels, your job, how many days you train, how are you active on a daily basis, are you not, what you do on the weekends. So, so, so many things come into play here. So don't consider this as your bread and butter, but this is a starting place for you. The best thing to do if you haven't an idea of what calories you're taking in is to find your body weight in pounds. Multiply it by roughly around 15, 16 calories. Eat that for a week while monitoring your weight. And if your weight goes up or down, you can basically gauge that based on that. So if your weight drops too fast, that means you're probably eating too little. You would need to increase your calories. If you gain weight too quickly, you're probably eating too much, so you need to bring back down your calories. So the main focus is to find your calorie maintenance, which is the amount of calorie your body calories your body needs to maintain your body weight and function on a daily basis. And once you find that magic figure, you can work easily from there. You can put yourself into a slight deficit and you can put yourself into a slight surplus from there. So find that calorie maintenance, guys, and try working from there.